Hi, this is Misa Grand Duchess Rasmus Gooden, 3706 Banner Road. How are you doing today? Doing fantastic. How are you? I mean, some total. I, I wrote something today, and I always want to share it with the public whether or not you want to listen. But, you know, um, I'm always delighted. There's something to be said. We always have questions about before. Before I was born, before us, the land before time, and before a lot of things. Before, what was the earth? Before, did humans exist? Before what? How, who, why, and when? Some non-consequential for some, as well I would not be obsessed with it either. But at a certain stage in professionalism and probably personal journeys, you become before, aware of before. And, be, uh, and become, and you come to see how before plays a performance in your life or in your journey and so forth. I wrote something today, and I, whether you understand it or not, it may be a, it's simple to me, but com maybe complex, too much complexity for you. And that is not to say that you could not understand it, but the time we take together will require more than five or ten minutes, or maybe just 15 minutes. But I wrote something today, um, before I knew love, I trusted to be fed, bust or bottled up. Now being into be where love we know, stab before the ones knew to be true, before the pew and pulpit too. Being alive to be survive, lost trust for bees, like before trust, like Lost trust for bees, like before trust, my and in self, to be love, being before of trust, first of love, and loved alone, for trust love myself, to be in love of the light before, creating us. Ah, uh, need a little bit of correction and so forth. But basically what I'm trying to say is, before you knew love, you trusted someone to feed you. Before you knew what love was, whether it was love that brought you on earth or not. But once you face the consequentialities of life, and people say love is the greatest thing. It's the very same love that do you win. So do you, become, do you come to trust yourself? Trust in yourself is love in yourself and love in trust. And that's what I mean by to be and into being. Into being a greater trust and not that you have mistrust. But the things that you trust not anymore are just not a part of you. It doesn't affect you. There's no outlook. Uh, I wrote something else also and I, and I really want to share it. I really want to share this other one. I always talk about love, sincerity, and how we, we always say we were created out of love. But it says, before sincerity, I aim to please. Still, meaning that before you, you were sincere, you were, you, you were trusted, you were loved, and so forth. You aim to please because you wanted that. Because you never knew, really knew what love was. Before sincerity, I aim to please. Worship worthy, unworthy to human beings. Wisdom I am and say by before sincerely to be in love of being. And that is what I'm trying to say with all my life, with all my experience with the army and the family and so forth, and why I've washed my hands clean and moved on from family and so forth. Because you know what? You must understand your position with people or else you fall to the same mistakes. And it's not that you may not like certain things, but you have to embrace the essence of you. And we do falter as human beings. Some of us can live and some of us can live without. And so I don't judge people how they live and how they fail and how they live without. But it's how you perform after you have done that. And whether you recognize that need to be sincere to be truthful to yourself and to others, to be truthful to your own direction, to your life, to be truthful by standing alone in honesty and saying, you know what, 
I think that you were a piece of shit and your morals were, not morals, your professionalism was zero. Can you do that? Or will you just suck up like somebody else? And I don't blame people that suck up and lick ass and I don't. People do things for purpose. But after you've discovered what the purpose of your life is, the decision becomes all up to you. How you live, how nature becomes a word, how nature becomes protective, and how what you believe becomes the blanket that keeps you warm at night and puts you to sleep. To sleep. This is Misa Grand Duchess Rasmus Coven, Rasmus Coven, 376 Standard Road. Have a good evening. Two four zero two seven four zero one five six.